Welcome to a slice of America. Because for 20 points this week, you can go ahead and get yourself the Dodge Durango SRT from 2021. Not to be confused with the one we already have. From stock, this thing makes 710 brake horsepower with a whopping 645 foot pounds of torque, and it weighs over 5,530 pounds, which is so, so heavy. In comparison between this and the previous generation Durango that we have in the game, I don't really see much difference aside from maybe the back looks just a little bit more modern. And of course, uh, going to the inside, we've got, well, some interesting things on the infotainment screen, and I think these might be digital dials as well. In the meantime, let's go ahead and take a listen to this thing. So here we are now over in the upgrade shop, we're going to jump straight to conversion and to engine swaps to see what we have. We've only got two and they are the 7.7 litre V12 and the 7.4 litre V8 twin turbo pushing 1750 brake horsepower. In other words, it's a little bit spicy. And if you want, you can also go ahead and make this thing rear wheel drive as well. I don't know why you would, but you can. Going to aero and appearance for the front bumper, we just sadly have Forza aero, including the uh, tow hook on there, which is a bit of a shame. And going to the back, we of course have just got ourselves the regular Forza wing, which has remained unchanged since I think probably Horizon 2 at this point. The day they redo the aero, we're probably going to have a party. In the meantime, we of course have Macintosh, our local mechanic, back with a, another tune for us. Let's go ahead and bring up the share code. There it is. Feel free to go ahead and grab that for yourself. And I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So after those upgrades, we've dropped this thing down by a thousand pounds exactly. And we've got ourselves a thousand two hundred and fifty seven brake horsepower in this thing at the top of S1. Man, this thing is going to be crazy. Okay, so now we're over at the paint shop. We've got nothing in advance, which is a bit of a shame, but going to manufacturer colours, we've got one, two, three, four to choose from. And honestly, I kind of like the green. I don't know why, but it just kind of stands out. You don't see many cars in green anymore. Well, aside from the two Fords in this series. Okay, we are now ready to go. We'll be loading into the race in just a few short moments. But one of the interesting things about this is apparently a Dodge UK have a dedicated few dealers around this country, of which apparently this is where you can go and pick one of these up for yourself. Now, sadly, there's none near me, but I would like to have a chance to actually see one of these in person. So if, if anybody happens to own one, get in touch. And away we go. We're up against a bunch of, well, I don't even know what, but this thing has got so many gears and you go through them so, so quickly. Now, we're going to try and see if we can get ourselves from 8th all the way up to 1st with this of all things. Now, even though there is an older version of this car in the game, we're not racing against it this time. This is just all-out chaos of uh, can we win with essentially a moving warehouse. And considering we're doing 182 on my test track, then uh, I think the answer is a definite solid maybe. Now while we're chasing down first place, an interesting thing about this is this thing had a very limited run. Also there's first place, thank you, goodbye. But uh, this thing had a run of only at 3,000 for this thing's year. There's only 3,000 of these ever built, which is very, very interesting. And I'd love to know how many of those are actually still on the road today. Because if you wanted to buy one, they were very, very expensive. Anywhere between 82500 US dollars up to 116000 If you're curious, the conversion for us Brits is currently on screen. So you could say they're a little bit expensive. Anyway, we are nearly at the end of the race. One more turn to go. The finish line is just there. And across we go with this absolute demon machine in a first place with a time of 1 minute 57. Well, I've got to say that was certainly a very interesting race, and now it's time for a very interesting tune, because our wonderful Master Mechanic Mac has been very, very busy while I've been racing and put together this tune for us called Drag-ish. So I don't know really what to expect, but let's go ahead and bring up the share code. There we go. Fantastic. Let's go and download this and see what we get. So with these upgrades applied, we're now at £4,130 in weight with 1,750 brake horsepower. This thing's going to be insane. Or at least, I hope so. Okay, here we are now over at the back of the drag strip. Let's go ahead and see what do we get. Do we get anything? Oh, wait, no, we actually kind of do. Okay, drag strip meant to say festival. Oh well, same thing. Okay, here we are now over at the edge of the drag strip, so we'll get on launch control, and away we go. Let's go ahead and see what we can get out of this thing. Hopefully we get something pretty good. We've got a lot of power, but this thing is, again, very, very, very heavy, so I'm hoping it's still something good. Through the camera at 201, which is honestly pretty decent, and we are topping out at 219 across the end of the runway, and we still don't have brakes. It's become a long-standing tradition at this point. 
So now I've been able to somehow very carefully get this thing back into the festival, let's go ahead and go back to a conversions. We're going to slap in the 1750 brake horsepower engine. We are leaving this thing at all wheel drive because we are definitely going to need it. And we're also going to go ahead and put on some semi slick tyres and go make this thing a bit of a top speed build. Okay, transmission six speed. That's better, we don't need eight gears. Yeah, I think those stats look good. And now we get the fun of tuning this thing, which is going to probably take us a little bit of time. So uh, I'll be back in a couple seconds. OK, it's been exactly 0.2 seconds later, and now we're looking at the Forza Thon shop for the week. We've got the Audi RS7 from 2013 available. We've got the Doodle Pattern Cap, the Doodle Summer Skirt. We've got the Porsche Cayenne Turbo, the Kickups Emote, the Horizon Super Wheel Spin, and the regular Horizon Wheel Spin as well. And now let's go out to the motorway. And now it's time for everybody's favourite game show. Is this the right spot to fast travel to or have I missed the grades? Honestly, I really need to probably get like some proper graphics and stuff made for that if that's going to become a recurring thing for these videos. But uh, I'm not skilled enough to do that. Well, not yet. Anyway, anyway, let's go ahead and see how close did we get? We got way too far. After doing this so many times, you honestly would have thought I'd have learnt by now. Anyway, here we are now over at the edge of the motorway onto launch control and away we go. 1,750 brake horsepower with this thing weighing just a shade over 4,000 and something pounds. This could get very, very interesting indeed. Also, was it my imagination or did this thing just pull a little bunny hop as well? Anyway, out of the speed zone at 252.96, we've got the downhill and speed camera still to go and that car did not help. And through the camera, 260.66, going downhill, 265, 266, do we get 267? Not quite, but to be honest, to get 266 out of this thing is nothing short of a miracle. I didn't find another car, you saw nothing. Now, Dodges have a very interesting history of being thrown around, so let's go ahead and see, will this thing survive being thrown around our favourite little drift track? Let's go ahead and see, we've got 30,000 points, which is a benchmark for all the cars, and that thing has just outdone it by 40,677. Or rather, 10,677 more at 40,000. You get the idea. Or at least, I hope you do. In the meantime, here we go for round number two. Let's go ahead and throw this thing in and try not to hit the bridge, because uh, we've got a long, uh, long standing history of doing that. Let's go ahead and see, out the other side, at 40,180. That reminds me of that little darts call out. Either way, that is the 2021 Dodge Durango SRT Hellcat. What a motor this thing is. I'm not usually one for SUVs, in fact I never have been, but this thing is actually pretty decent when you throw 1,750 brake horsepower out of the Funko F9 engine in this. Or at least, I hope it's the Funko F9 engine anyway. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. Feel free to go ahead, like, share, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, thank you for watching. Tech out. See ya. next week.